This is a right clump. This is a left clump. This is a right clump. This is a left clump. Once we can observe, the right clump is larger than the left clump. Once we can observe, the right clump is larger than the left clump. Why? Why? Right lung is larger than the left lung. Why? Very, very good, sir. Very good. The right lung is made up of three lobes. And the left lung is made up of two lobes. Left lung is made up of two lobes. And the right lung is made up of three lobes. And another one of the reason is also there. Adjustment of heart. You know that. Heart is located between the lungs and the left side portion of the chest cavity. Heart is located between the lungs and left side portion of the chest cavity. This is one of the reasons. The main reason is why right lung is larger than the left lung. Right lung is made up of three lobes and the left lung is made up of two lobes. That is the main reason. Second reason is heart is located between the lungs and left side portion of the chest cap. Next, we know that lungs are spongy. Lungs are spongy and elastic in nature. Lungs are spongy and elastic in nature. We know that during inhalation, increase the volume of the chest cavity and decrease the volume of the pressure in lungs. Exhalation. Decrease the volume of the chest cavity and increase the volume of the pressure in lungs. In this process, in this process, one of the important part can I play for movement of respiration. That. What is that? Diaphragm. We know that diaphragm is a floor of the chest cavity. Diaphragm is the floor of the chest, chest cavity. cavity. Right? Floor of the chest cavity. During inhalation, increase the volume of the chest cavity and decrease the volume of the pressure in lungs. Diaphragm push downwards. During inhalation, increase the volume of the chest cavity and decrease the volume of the pressure in lungs. Diaphragm push downwards. Exhalation. Diaphragm comes normal 